Yo, what is up, people? Then, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. And you guys know what has me really fucking bummed out right now. I don't have my bear hat anymore. What the fuck? I knew it got shot off. I was hoping that I would spawn with it. And apparently, you do not spawn with the with an item that you have purchased and, and equipped. You lose the hat. You lose the fucking hat. You gotta go buy another one. This is bullshit. I'm upset by this. I'm hurt. That was my favorite hat. I don't know why the hell I'm going up here, honestly. But we're gonna be progressing further in the story. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll be able to get some shit. Sometimes it's hard uh, to not get sidetracked. And Whoa! How the fuck did that not hurt me? As I was saying, it's hard to not get sidetracked and fucking, uh, just kill half a town. I'm gonna end up dying. Oh, I see a, a random mission event here. Is it over here or down further? No! No! What the fuck, man? Okay, it's down there. Holy shit, dude. Don't fall on me, please. Come on. Thank you. I bet this horse fucking hates me. I just don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. Uh -uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. I can smell it on you. <laughs> well. Once what, exactly? It isn't happening. No, 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 it isn't. That's why, that, that, that's why uh, I'm out here, well away from them. They come for me, but I'm watching. I never sleep. I never do. Okay, so how can I help you? Why did I need to interact with that? Put him out of his misery. Mercy killing. Alright. Moving along. Want my hat? Yeah. 
ten minutes. Why? Do I not have any more? Yeah, I thought I did. There we go. I'm going to grow the sexiest of beards. Hopefully I can get my hat back. Commune, we stop when we find some place sensible. Shake them. Why the fuck can't I do anything else but low. this? This is lying low. So we moving? Yeah. Turned into a bunch of killers. I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Hey, Charles, come on. I need you for something. Now, where have I heard that before? So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? Moving, running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before, put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. Now hang on a second. I think that must be it up ahead, the old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Ah! Hey, I see 
What the fuck was that? Someone on the ground there. What the fuck was that? That was so fucking stupid. How the hell is the horse gonna like get jump and then fucking land on me? He's been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Alright, All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Everybody, maybe they heard us come. Be careful, and be careful. Someone's been here. Sure. Someone's still here. There ain't no one here now. I ain't so sure about that. It's okay. It's okay. Come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? It's German? No. Now go on, get out of here. Go, we need the land, go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men, last night. Where? Where did they take him? Ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. Careful. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons breathing down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Think this is the right way? Give me a second. Okay, looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons, anyway, when you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Hold up. Let me check this. along the shore here. So you were just talking about something? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, uh, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. 
Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well. If it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Easy. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was... Wait a second, just want to look closer here. carry on along this trail. So like I was talking about, when Jack was real young, a long while, a year ago, he did. And we was family, you know? I guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Hold. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. So where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. I didn't even see him. Are you gonna cut the ropes or me? Shut up. Three coming right at us. What do you think you're doing? Why the hell you drag us into this, Charles? You better not fucking shoot my horse. I was trying to take cover behind this fucking tree. Well, that's them dealt with. Fucking leg. I'll see what they've left behind for us. Untie him, I'm busy. Fuck you guys. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. Gotta make this money. Okay, I'm coming. Fuck. Come on. It looks insane there. <laughs> Fine. It's okay. Getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Here yeah, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. There's fucking nothing here to take. What is this bullshit? Really? Why does it gotta be like this? Damn. 
Alright, come on, man. I will only take you back to your wife. Easy girl. Alright, girl. I'm end up running into a tree and knocking us both off. We're going off a cliff. Wo bringen sie mich hin? What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld. Money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh. Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, ähm. Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Sweet! Get yeah. that gold bar. Oh yeah, I'll take it. I'm rich! This place, oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Yeah. Arthur's just sleeping on the ground. No fire, nothing. <sighs> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. You bet your ass we are. I was hoping that uh, it was just going to instantly give me money and I wasn't going to have to sell it, but whatever. Oh, Hello, shit. Morning. Let's see what I can donate here. I have a fuck ton of shit. I'm not going to donate this. This is mine, bitches. I'm keeping that too, fuck that. Mm. 
I'm such a nice guy. Need to give you guys more than that, though. I'm going to try to upgrade soon. Damn, I got a sexy beard going on. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves. In a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. This motherfucker's gonna take me fishing, really. I don't want to catch fish, damn it. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather was... My days are looking good a long over. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on. Hosea, let's go fishing. Come on, then. <laughs> Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because... I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was a us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. Where we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich simple tins there must be down here oh this is perfect for you hosea you'll be able to play them like a fiddle nothing would give me greater pleasure than no buts not today we fish and we enjoy the day looks like law up ahead play it cool easy Well, 
Look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> well, well. How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Let's go after that train. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanting for? Looks like the son of a bitch is going to make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Ha <laughs> ha! Stop catching me now! Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. Yeah. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Me. Watch out! He's throwing bombs at us. Uh, you cop bastard! Uh, I didn't do nothing! Uh, Get him, Arthur! Come on, shit bag! Stay on him! Oh shit! Damn bastard! Mmm! Mmm! Mmm, bitch, what's up? You won't catch these hands today, boy! Oh shit! Get fucked, what's up? Oh, it's on. Bitch, ah! Bitch, what's up? Commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? The 
Take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're I need to cut my hair and that shave. Holy shit. Sir. I have to admit, I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. I'm gonna rob all of these motherfuckers. Is the Rhodes Parlor House? Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Come on, partner, before he wakes up. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However... I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. Uh, make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Gray's, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out over rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, That's Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I could not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen.
Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Old Joe's got a shipment of rubber. Don't think too hard. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Some mansion for some cocksucker. Gentlemen, follow me. So, how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Jose? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. This is the spot, down to the left there. Whoa, 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 whoa. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh. Oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me roll. 
You boys are too old for real labor no more. <laughs> You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Keep going. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Where's your rod, Arthur? Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big. A sturgeon. What's wrong with good old worm? Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. You got a bite. You hooked him. Okay, that was a bite. There, hooked him. That feels like a bite. Got one. Damn it, I lost him. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fellow told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of St. Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Ah, I should have had that one. Hey, Jose, remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, oh, this again? I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish, or you can go drinking all day, Rob someone and buy some fish. Nice, you hooked him. There we go. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We go out all the time. But one day we were river fishing when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue, Wesley stands up, takes off his hat bows his head then he sits down picks his rod back up and carries on doesn't say a word so i'm a little surprised and say wesley that was nice of you and he replies well felt i had to after all i was married to her for 30 years <laughs> oh there he is <laughs> oh dear god i might swim to shore Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed the lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy in him, right to the end. You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. 
Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons have patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Good job, Arthur. Ha! Got ya! I am a boss fucking fisherman. I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. Boss ass fisherman. Alright. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. <laughs> I asked that girl to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Mm -hmm. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Taters got burned and so did I. <laughs> that was that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we? Dances round and round and round, shall we go dances round and round and round? Hey, that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round and round and round. We care not for the martial men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round and round and round, to them we dance this round and round and round, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this round and round. I miss my hat. I think uh, I really miss my hat. Well, I mean, we are gonna be okay. I know. Well, I always know. Do you always Whenever know? I got you two by my side. Things are gonna be just fine. Carry your dead ass weight. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so. That hair tonic really fucking works. Well, I am going to take in with you. 
I'll give these fish to Pearson. God damn, I need a shower. shower. Can I just get in the water? Fucking filthy, bro. Clean yourself, Arthur. Bathe. I highly doubt that worked, but I mean. Yeah, it didn't work. <laughs> Where can I fucking clean my ass? Arthur needs a, a bath really fucking bad. Well, I guess this is where I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So, for now guys, peace out. Have a good one.